This is Escape Velocity. I'm Crypto Pio. Sorry I didn't drop yesterday. My microphone broke, but we're back now. Going to be dropping an artist profile on Tom Yu tomorrow, as well as another NFT freestyle with my homeboy Jcoin, and dropping a super special artist interview video later this week. But let's get right into it. So check it out. I'm looking at today's Nifty Gateway homepage. Um, I'd say that the most interesting story of the day is Karma Chameleon by Wisby. So Karma Chameleon, I'm gonna definitely do a whole video on the piece later, but the moral of the story is this piece dropped. It had a lot of hype. Uh, Wisby is a known street artist from NYC. As you can see that there's, you know, the physical sculptures of these gummy bear type pieces in buildings in New York, they get a lot of hype. He's done the mugshot thing before. So he put out, he's put out a few NFTs, he put this one out, it got a lot of hype. 1,239 mints. I believe it was a $1,000 initial drop price. Yes, $9.99. So you're looking at a $1.2 million market cap right off the bat. Incredibly, incredibly successful drop for Wisby. Uh, it traded sideways for about a week. Um, didn't really get too much price appreciation for the first week. Then all of a sudden it had a bull run where it went up to like, you know, 2,500. I'm sure if I dig it out, there was like a ton of um, over 2,000 dollars sales so definitely a productive or just a, a strongly performing piece by Wisby and then like we saw with kill the wabbit which I've made a video on it actually dropped back down a drop uh, drop price so here we are it's like around 1100 1200 so it had a full-on capitulation yeah here we go so on March 22nd one sold for 2500 it was performing well, 1880. Basically, you're, you're looking at like drop price, then mm, pretty close to like a 100% appreciation right here. Here's a sell of 2550, 2100, 2200. This is like a week after it came out. Yeah, like consistently selling for 100% above drop price, and then full capitulation back down to drop price, and then now up to you know $1,600 floor. But more importantly, it's now the number five most popular it flipped lavish and it flipped why would i care i'm just a cat by mad dog jones my prediction is that lavish will get bumped out by uh why would i care i'm just a cat i think that's going to keep rocking if not something else is going to bump lavish out a lot of the lavish hype has died it's now trading for less than drop price i'm an owner of lavish from drop i watched the bull run up the capitulation uh down here we are but the thing that really I should have picked up on earlier when it came to the Wisby piece, to Karma Chameleon, is when you look here, you can kind of judge the velocity of how quickly a piece is, is going to you know, appreciate. You can look at how many secondary sales there are. So 627 secondary sales on Genesis, another piece that I'm super bullish on, but not a piece that's traded hands at the, at the rate that Karma Chameleon has, 581. So Karma Chameleon's probably gonna flip Genesis. And then it's not out of the question, you know, th this these spots, Anime and Genesis, these spots are soft. They're super soft. Faces and Bitcoin Angel are super hard. 1742 secondary sales on Bitcoin Angel, 2895 on Faces. So Faces is not gonna get touched for a while. Without question, it's not going to get touched for a while. Bitcoin Angel, I mean, Trevor Jones has a Discord channel for Bitcoin Angel collectors that I'm in. And he posts the stats on Bitcoin Angel all the time. Some people have like 20 Bitcoin Angels. The only thing that could make Bitcoin Angel drop off of this number two spot, unless there's just like another super popular piece, is if people start holding their Bitcoin Angel at such a savage rate that you know, they're just not being sold. They're not available for sale anymore, except for an exorbitantly high price, which is what, as a collector, I hope will happen. It's what Trevor Jones hopes will happen. You have to understand that artists would just prefer the collectors to hold their pieces so that the pieces get crazy value. And then future drops have crazy value because the previous drops had crazy value. So, you know, these two spots are soft. Genesis, I'm way more bullish on than Le Anime, but I'm also not sleeping on too much lag. This is like another one of those sort of you know uh, first piece in a series types of situations i think that this is 
you know this this le anime world that too much lag is creating has a ton of potential too so yeah i mean the story of the day is karma chameleon second bull run just like kill the wabbit had a second bull bull run the big difference here is that the liquidity in karma chameleon is way deeper there's there were you know 1200 sales at drop and like kill the wabbit for example had less than 100 so there's a ton of karma chameleons out there if whales want to come out and they want to start buying up all the karma chameleons they absolutely can and you can if you're a karma chameleon collector you can own a ton of them so there's a lot going on with this piece i don't think it's going to slow down i think that the floor should keep going up um you know it really depends though because at the same time you, you see a lot of pieces that get crazy hype and then they dip so what's the last sale so the last sale on VNV is 3300 this piece was selling for literally 6,000 bucks like two weeks ago there was the macro dip in the NFT market because of the dip in Bitcoin and more specifically ethereum and now that ethereum is ripping again and bitcoins about to rip again you're seeing a lot more action come back to NFTs there's also a crazy supply of NFTs that are dropping. Nifty Gateway is doing like three, four artists a day at this point. So many drops. They used to not drop one day a week. It seems these days that they're basically dropping seven days a week most of the time with two drop times, like in the afternoon and the evening. So it's the wild, wild west. Who knows what's going to happen? But Karma Chameleon... You know, it's by a super notable artist that has a lot of hype outside of the NFT world. It had a lot of hype going into it. 1,239 initial sales. Good, good, uh... Uh, market cap a lot of liquidity $999 price point on 1200 plus sales and yeah, I think that this is gonna keep climbing I mean, let's see if since I started the video more have sold No, so oh, sorry. Yes three minutes ago one sold for 2100 bucks. So there you go um, so that's definitely the story of, of today and I will do a video on Karma Chameleon and Wisby. I actually really like a lot of these drops from today one of them's just crazy weird. This one's just insanely weird. It's hilarious. <laughs> um, there's even weirder stuff too. This is too funny. But um, but yeah, I haven't studied those artists. I don't I don't have much to say about them. I'm extremely excited about the drop tomorrow, which is Tom Yu. I own how many Tom Yu's? Four Tom Yu's, I think. Let's see. One, two. My favorite one, three four five five tom yous let's see how they're performing ahead of this drop yeah i mean it's it, it, they're not flying off the shelves right now there's not a lot of liquidity in this particular piece but that doesn't really mean anything because there's like a ton of supply again coming onto the market right now and tom Yu is not super active on social media i know he did an ama today on discord but yeah, I, I'm really excited about the drop. I'll pull up uh, Tom Yu, his Instagram right here. He was showing off some of the pieces. They're super sick. Oh my goodness. I love it. All right, what do we got here? Boom, boom, boom. Super Satoshi right here holding the Bitcoin. Good angle, Tom Yu. New York City Pigeon. So yeah, I'm really excited. I don't know what I'm gonna buy yet. Me and Jcoin are gonna do a live NFT freestyle during the drop. I know he's gonna buy something. I'm realistically gonna buy something too. I've been away from buying for a little bit because I really aped in. I put in 25,000 bucks about in less than 25 calendar days. So I went hard. I'm not I don't regret it. I think that all my pieces are, are super sick. Some of them have absolutely cratered in value. It is what it is. It kind of comes with the territory of NFTs. But yeah, let's uh let's see some other stuff. So gold weird dropped. Let me see. Down under edition. This is this is the one that just dropped. Yeah, 329. So gold weird is a super interesting artist. This is his style. You're looking at his style. He does these little, you know, creatures kind of. And his previous drops were more focused on packs versus open editions. So if you look, no open editions here until Skeletoons and then Crystal Pop. So this is, or excuse me, Down Under edition. So he's done two open editions. So this is the first open edition where people could just, or the second open edition where they could just pop on and buy stuff. How much was this at drop? This was 500 at drop. 
it's cratering. So we're seeing this from Nifty Gateway a lot. Not to say that these won't come back around because they're by Goldweird and he's awesome. And his previous stuff is awesome too. I mean, let's look. Crystal Pops Winter Edition. This one actually did not perform that well, but this one definitely did. So this is on sale for $1,300. The original price was $40. Bucks. So that's a, a gnarly appreciation rate. $1,500 original price, $40. Bucks. And I bet the best one, $3,000, $5,000, $9,000, $10,000. How much is this original? I think this was probably a drawing. 40 bucks, 6,500, 88,000. Can't buy this one, it's an additional one. So, you know, we're gonna have to figure out what the story is with the overall supply versus demand curve. Like, essentially the amount of, not even drops or addition or, or artists, but really like mints, you know? Because if you want one example that's personal to me, let me just pull up. I want a drawing in the Justin Roiland drop. This guy right here, Identity, and it just cratered immediately. Like it was, I, I won the drawing at 1,111 bucks, but there were 442 mints, which is just so many. If this had been 50 mints, totally different story but when you think about it from the artist perspective 442 times over a thousand bucks this piece alone was a almost like a 500 or maybe over five hundred thousand dollar endeavor so you can't really get mad at the artist for wanting to make five hundred thousand dollars when it's a drawing and you know that you're going to sell every single one so that's interesting last sale 370 bucks absolutely cratering so you know we'll see if these if these perform well, here are the open editions. Okay. It's on sale for a thousand, it cost a thousand. So this person bought it and is just immediately abandoning ship, which is pretty funny. This is pretty typical. I this is the type of thing where same deal here. This is the type of thing where one whale comes through and he starts buying them all up, and then all of a sudden, you know, when you go to the Nifty Gateway homepage, you just see here's another one by uh, Wisby Karma Chameleon still going. If if this if all six of these are just the new Gold Weird or all six of these are Wisby, then that's going to create a hype train, and then people on Discord will start pumping it, and that's when you'll see the floor just rise. But I am concerned about the volume of open editions and just the volume of mints. That that are coming onto the marketplace because this is just one marketplace. The NFT buyers network is still very much so tied to crypto. A lot of people I see every day on Twitter, people people being like, what's the deal with an NFT? Like, what is it? Isn't it a JPEG image? What's the difference between me just Googling that picture versus paying a thousand dollars for it, blah, blah, blah. It's basically the same thing as, as people that used to say, why should I bit buy Bitcoin? because I can't hold it in my hand. I wanna be able to hold it in my hand. Well, actually, the best thing about Bitcoin is that you don't hold it in your hand because if you owned $100,000 worth of gold, that would literally be so much gold. So this light just went out. I'm having all sorts of technical difficulties lately. My mic is now fixed, I hope. I'm gonna run this back. This is Escape Velocity. I'm gonna get back to dropping content every day. I wanted to hit you guys with this. Thanks for watching. I'm still doing that raffle for one NFT to one of my subscribers on YouTube once I hit 500 subscribers. And I actually am looking into doing a different Twitter uh, raffle as well. So yeah, please keep watching. Please like, please subscribe. Tomorrow we're gonna do an NFT freestyle with Jcoin and a Tom U artist profile. Thanks so much.